Longest running jailer in the state of Kentucky is retiring at the end of July. After 36 years, Mike Simpson is leaving the industry. He's viewed as one of the most successful jailers in the state with fewer inmate deaths or lawsuits in his entire career than Louisville Metro Corrections has had this year alone. The building may say Oldham County, the inmates come from across the state and country. Hey man, I got a question for you. Go ahead, go ahead. Jailer Mike Simpson serves federal court, the state of Kentucky, and his home county. Well, I was able to get that very first contract in 1997. His separate roles mean separate funding. A lot of cameras. Allowing him to create this new facility in 2018, buy full body scanners, give officers a starting salary over $43,000, and install these kiosks. The kiosk machine is, is one of my best employees. Inmates can use them to make calls, read mail, order from the commissary, and reach their 24-7 medical staff, which is unique to Oldham County. That staff able to triage, make medical decisions, and evaluate incarcerated people when they first arrive. Our staff nurse is going to be conducting a just a quick overview triage to make sure that he not he's not having any issues, not having any problems. In his 36 years, there have been two inmate deaths in the jail. One a heart attack, the other a man going through detox. When his family did the funeral, we went to the funeral. And as jails across the country struggle with staffing. And I have been so fortunate in my career and so blessed. Mike Simpson hasn't had an issue. His deputy chief started at the jail when she was 21. She's still with him 28 years later. The current major has been there 25 years and will take Simpson's job when he leaves to spend more time with his family. Between the staff and their emotional support kitten named Mr. Kitty. What do you think, Mr. Kitty? He says they should do just fine. Now, some notable inmates from over the years are head of the Cornbread Mafia, Johnny Boone, and 20 people accused of storming the Capitol on January 6th.